Today, I want to talk about phones at the dinner table. When I think of the dinner table, I think of one of the few places where families can come together and invite others into their home. Even a high-class family, like the Kardashian-Jenner family, struggles with having phones at the dinner table. One of the many sisters, Kim, constantly tells her younger sister, Chloe, to put her phone down. Why does Chloe never put her phone down? Well, studies have shown that the same part of the brain that triggers drug addictions also releases hormones that make us addicted to our phones. At my house, me and my brother have crazy schedules between sports practices or games, school events, or church gatherings. We drive our parents wild. And most of the time, dinner's the only time we are all together in one place. And I believe we are taking advantage of this by using our phones. Did you know that 89% of the population that use cell phones say they use their phones at the dinner table to read a text or email, take a photo, or send a text. These are my thoughts on that. That text, email, or whatever you may be reading will still be there when you get done. Taking a photo? Why? Some people say photos are capturing moments so you won't forget them. But if you're sitting there on your phone, aren't you really missing creating the memory in the first place? Allowing children, or adults for that matter, to have their phones out at the dinner table and be distracted by them is bad manners, but more importantly, creates bad habits that can later interfere with children's healthy social and emotional development. Bad habits start at a young age. Many parents think it's just easier to give younger children electronics at the table and hope to quiet them, especially if parents just want a relaxing dinner. Kids love it and soon think of it as normal. This is when it can become an extreme, extremely hard habit to break. Although short term, giving them electronics at the table may quiet them, in the long run, your child's missing out on learning important social skills that come from interacting with people instead of screens. Another extremely gratifying downfall of electronics at the table is that it's an additional screen time on top of what kids can be encountering outside of the table. What most people don't realize is that when you let your child have electronics at the table, you are sending them the message that it is okay to not be involved and be cut off from the conversation around them. Instead, you should convey the message that whoever at the table is open and talks to each other, that sharing with each other is good, that it can create irrevocable bonds, and that the table is a safe environment, that anyone, not just your child, should feel as safe as possible sharing whatever is on their mind. Things like questions they have, social problems they're struggling with, or even just new interests they develop could be good topics that arise during these conversations. The recent studies have shown that the blue and UV light coming from the devices have, can damage brain cells and prevent early growth and development in the brain. As for older kids, it's a natural part of growing up to pull away from parents. But teens are still kids and they should still be connected to their parents, not just their peers. 24-7 communication with their friends online is easy for them to get sucked into. These days, it can be almost impossible to pull teenagers away from their phones. Trust me, I would know. My parents always like to tell me to either put down my phone and either like go play outside or shut up my computer and go play a board game, or at least just put down my phone and talk to me. Most of the time, I'm not very happy. It's frightening, right? Um, and although I understand why they're asking me to do it, it doesn't mean I agree and feel I should have to. Most these days, teenagers are glued to their phones. And with social media, we can isolate ourselves into our own worlds. As parents, you should follow the rule too. Everyone knows how hard it can be to ignore what seems like a very important work email. But whether your child is six months, six years, or 16 years old, they know when you're truly engaged and paying attention. I'm an athlete, and I don't think I would like it very much if my coach sat in the middle of a game on her phone. We wouldn't get very much done because we wouldn't know where we were going, and I don't think she would know if we were improving or not on the court. So, in conclusion, although electronics have many positives and can be used nearly anywhere, I think the table is one place that they should be put away. Help your family and start today. Help my generation be the generation that ends phones with the table.